Hello everyone, and welcome to my next custom map playthrough, which is Millennium. It's kind of, well not really, but it's by the same guy who did the, uh, the, oh my god, oh the, oh my god, why can't I speak today? Anyway, the, uh, Black House custom map, and I decided to do this one since not many people have done it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going with this. And I got myself a little ridiculous looking mace thing here, some torches. And I know a lot of you have given me your custom maps, and I will play them, or I might play them, I don't know, it just kind of depends. I'm thinking about a way to work everything out, but for now, you're just all gonna have to be patient with me, because I really want to play this one first, okay? Okay, good. I'm glad you understand, because you better. Uh, read rules, um, no breaking blocks that aren't clay, no crafting, no cheating, take the minecart with you, if you die, delete the map and redo, uh, play on easy or above read all the signs and there's 18 diamond okay great note one <laughs> you have stumbled upon a strange building in the middle of nowhere your mouth is dry and swollen you have blisters on your feet from days of travel i wonder who the blessing family are you wonder to yourself as you stare up at the precariously located structure i hope they don't mind strangers knocking on their door with a quick wipe of the sweat from your brow you collect the last of your belongings from your treasure chest and trudge up the mountain of stairs. Cool. And this guy seems to like random kind of creepy houses. So I guess that kind of goes with the black house thing. Blessing residents, please direct all inquiries to the maid. Ring the bell if she's not around. And that's all I see. Okay, and... Okay, I was making sure my sound was on. Anyway... I'm going to do the same thing I did with Black House and not really end it off and just put them in two parts that will just be separated by like stay tuned or whatever I did last time. Bar closed. Uh, okay. And then the stairs going down. I guess green wool. And what is that? Oh no, I don't. I want that. I want that torch. Um, I better get that torch back. Okay. Is that a record player? I was I never know what the hell that block is. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Clay, I can break, so. I'm gonna move that so it doesn't get in my way, and I'm actually gonna move the food down just in case I get into some trouble, which I have a feeling I will. Oh, let's see. Long drop. Oh, wow. Okay, that's definitely a long drop. Let me just get down here and hope I don't die, and thank you. Whoa, okay there, water. Forget to flush. That's not gravel. You. Okay, uh. Oh. <laughs> I should probably break gravel. Standing on stone. Uh. Oh, and there's already monsters. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie. Okay. Just as long as it's not skeletons, I can deal with it. Okay, let's kill this guy, and then... Oh, didn't even die. Okay, there we go. Light that up, and... Read note... Oh, shit, I missed a note. Oh, no! Oh, oh, God. Oh, what did I miss? Uh... Okay, maybe I should have gone downstairs first. Oh, oh, dear. Uh, well, I'm not going back now. Um, note three. What a weird place. You mutter under your breath. The smell of the long drop still hovers about you, attracting a few insects. This seems to be in the inside of the family crypt. Glancing at the inscriptions on the wall, the owners of the property seem to have died quite a while back. From what you remember before you set off from home, the current year is 1654. From the outside, you notice the main residence isn't too far down the garden path. If only you could get the gate open. Uh, let's see. I can't open that. <laughs> I was just gonna... Oh, yep, I knew there would be diamond. I'm just gonna grave rob there a little bit. Whatever. No problem. And maybe we can get back up to the surface and not get too distracted. What? Oh, here we go. Um, family crypt. <laughs> Keep grave robbing. If you play games, you know there's always stuff in the graves. Just rip it apart. Maid Angela. Oh, the maid's de uh, dead. And I don't think I can break that stuff. Oops. Eh, just gravel it up a little bit. Oh, the re oh, I'll just leave that. Never mind. Ooh, cat! 
Oh, poor cat. Uh, okay. Let's see, where do I go from here? Let's go, let's go look for note two. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the note already. Kind of sad, in a way. Here we go. Um... Oh, note two. Wow, I walked right past it. Like, seriously. Right past it. It's empty. Great. You hydrate yourself at the bar and look around. It seems to be a place where guests might be entertained. It also has quite a stunning view. A letter on the floor of the bar reads, Dear Mr. Blessing, Your evil cat keeps stealing my keys. I suspect it's dropping them down the long drop just to annoy me. If I ever catch that thing, it's going in there as well. Made Angela. Well, that was... One of the more useful no- I mean, use less notes, because it just told me to go down the long drop, which I did anyway, so... In the long run, doesn't really matter. Anyway, we'll keep on going, and... Get on out of here, into the next area. Let's see, main residence? Oh, dear. Nice large house. The lodge. Okay, let's go on into the lodge, I guess. Nice little flags on the wall. I'm suspecting, like, yep, this is dark. I don't really trust this. Yep, there's this bonner. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Nothing happened. Um, I'm just going to walk in circles until I find something. And there's a switch. That's always a good sign. Maybe I went the right way on accident. That's good. It's always good to accidentally win. Um... There's the fourth diamond. I probably won't get 18, but I can try. This is a lot, like, a little bit spread out than the last one was. Read note four. Okay, I'll read note four real quick. Read note four is the lodge. The Blessing family must have called this home. It's very comfortable and still eerily warm. From the various banners and books around the house, you gather that Mr. Blessing was some sort of an archaeologist. A lot of the scrapbooks and newspaper clippings are about something called Millennium. Perhaps that's why they set up a home in the middle of nowhere. You wonder as you flick through the pages to search for this Millennium. You decide to check out the rest of the house for more clues. Cool. <laughs> and, uh, like a fish tank, I guess? I don't know. Or like a shower? I, I don't know. Anyway, let's get through here. Read it for okay, and I guess that's the door I opened with the the last. Uh, oh no, I closed the folder again. God darn it! Anyway, now that, that's an. What was I saying? That's the door I opened with the switch. Okay, please take spares. Minecart storage. Okay, well I'm gonna take spares then. Blessing railway. For safety, please allow at least ten seconds before departures. Well, I'm the only one going, so. Die, sheep, die! I don't like the way sheep look in this texture pack. They look really creepy. Um, okay. No offense, Mr. Sheep. No offense. Okay, this can only lead to happiness, I'm sure. Nothing bad... Nothing bad happens on minecarts, right? Right, guys? Um... I always have this fear of minecarts. Like, I'm gonna go just, like, go right through lava and just be like, Well, that's the end of this custom map playthrough. I'll see you next time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why I spaced out this place so much. Uh, oh, cool. I'm done. Base camp. Read note 5. You've arrived at some sort of dig site. There's a small camp set up, and it seems like it's been here for quite a while. Each tent has... Shut up, door! Each tent has a name on the outside. Eugene Gray and Fabian McGee. Starting to piece together the puzzle, you consider that Mr. Blessing might not have been an archaeologist at all. He must have hired these two gentlemen to dig for a millennium. It must be important if he's willing to spend so much time and money to get this far. You notice the evacuation site nearby. Grab a few supplies from the tent and venture forward. Yeah, my door opens randomly from the wind, so that was not part of the note, in case you didn't figure that one out. Evacuation site danger. Okay, let's get some more supplies from the tent. Eugene Gray, and take the diamond, take a hat. And this is uh, designed for two players. That's why there's like two of everything. Okay. And drinking water. Do not use to wash. Fabian McGee. Take his diamond. Take his stuff. <laughs> take his bread and his torches. 
There's not as freaking ridiculous amount of food in this one as there was in the last one. That was hilarious. Okay, and down we go into the depths.